Oh, I'll, I'll tell you when. for the bride. presents are to be married to John today? My daughter, Arianna. And John, give it to John. Yeah. You can give her a little kiss. John, step up. And all the guests may be seated. Well, John, all right. A marriage is a uniting of two people, two lives, two hearts onto one common path. That's a path the two of you will both share together in life from this day forward. So what you're celebrating today before your friends and your family who are with you. And everyone in this world is searching for a certain someone they might share this life with. A husband, a wife, a soulmate. Most importantly, someone you can share an unconditional love with, a commitment with, a friendship with. Now, if the two of you both wish to be united into this estate, I'll ask you to turn, face each other, and join your hands together. Well, John, in accepting Ari to be your lawfully wedded wife, you must promise to love her, honor her, and cherish her. Be to her always a true and loving husband, and leaving all others, staying only with her. Do you so promise? I do. All right, and accepting John to be your lawfully wedded husband, you likewise must promise to love him, honor him, and cherish him. Be to him always a true and loving wife, and leaving all others, <laughs> staying only with him. Do you so promise? I do. Then you are given each to the other, for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness, <laughs> and in health. Now, if I could have the rings, please. Thank you. Now, these rings that the two of you are both exchanging today, now, they're a symbol of this love you both just promised to each other. Firstly, they're made of a material that will never tarnish, showing that this love the two of you both share should never tarnish, but remain always as it is this very moment. And second, the rings also being made in an unbroken circle, having no end themselves, shows that there should be no end to this love the two of you both share together forever. Now, I'll ask if you take Ari's ring, John, and place it upon her left hand. Holding the ring on her finger, looking to Ari's eyes. John, repeat after me. With this ring. Oh, with this ring. <laughs> I be wed. I be wed. With loyal love. With loyal love. I give to you. I give to you. Ari, take John's ring, place it upon his left hand. <laughs> holding the ring on his finger looking at John's eyes Ari repeat after me with this ring with this ring I be wed I be wed with loyal love with loyal love I give to you I give to you now as I said a marriage is a uniting of two people two lives onto one common path. But now, of course, the two of you aren't just creating a marriage today. You're also creating a home. And 
Now, when I say home, I don't simply mean a place that the two of you will both reside. I mean a home where no matter what this world will present you, you can always find solace in one another there. This home is a place built upon a foundation of this love, trust, commitment, friendship that you're pledging to each other today, a place filled with arts, literature, culture of your own choosing, as well as it should be. Because I'm sure, as you both know, not every moment will be just like this. There are times of trial, there are times of hardship. And one of the things I'd like to impart upon the two of you is now in these times, not just to remember the vows you've exchanged, not simply the rings you've given to each other, but more importantly, try to remember those smaller things that brought the two of you both to this point in the first place, particularly those smaller things about one another, those qualities in each other that the two of you both recognized, that drew you together, enabled you to create this relationship and come here before your friends and your family to make this commitment together. And with that said, I'll ask you both to step over behind the candles for just a moment. Behind? Oh yeah, on that side. Each of you take a hold of an individually lit candle. Now these flames you hold individually represent the lives you have lived that way until joining them today. So together now at the same time, go ahead and light the candle in the center. And go ahead and put them back. And the two of you step back over. Oh, I'm going <laughs> Come back to here. Now you notice as you join the flames together, they'll burn brighter, more richly, more vibrantly than ever did individually, just as your lives are now so joined. Your lives, likewise, be brighter, richer, more full of love, companionship, friendship, than they ever possibly could have been alone. And I'd like to share a bit of a, a poem with the two of you as well, and the reason being is I think it speaks very truly to this commitment that a husband and a wife will share together, and it says in part, I love you, not only for who you are, but for who I am when I'm with you. I love you not only for what you're making of yourself, but for what you're helping to make of me. I love you for placing your hand into my heaped up heart and passing over those weak or frivolous things you might not help but see there, but always drawing out all of the good, beautiful, and radiant things that dwell within me. Now, I know as long as the two of you always remember to keep this commitment and always look toward the good in one another, always look toward the beautiful in one another, and most importantly, never lose sight of what brought you both to this moment in the first place. As long as you can do that, then your lives together as husband and wife will always be everything that you want it to be. Now, being in the two of you, we've both consented together to be joined in lawful wedlock and by the authority vested in me by the state of Nevada. I now pronounce you husband and wife. And John, you may kiss your wife. <laughs> Present to you, Mr. and Mrs. Talbot. And guys, two of you head right on down. 